السلام عليكم هاي ويلكم باك تو الكتريكال سيركت سيميليشن كارز اي مرة عبد الكريم ان ذيس كارز اور ان ذيس فيديو وي ويل ديسكاس ار سي سيركتس اند اتس ابليكيشن سوتش اس باتر ايكويفالين سيركت فلاشينج لايتس لو باس فلتر هاي باس فلتر اند سو اون اي اكسبكت باي ذا اند اوف ذيس video you should be able to both model and simulate RC circuit in simulate environment using Simiscape library. Let's start our lecture today. Capacitor charge and discharge. In this part we are going to model a capacitor or RC circuit represent capacitor charge and discharge behavior. I'm not going to elaborate about the capacitor or about the capacitor lesson. I'm just going to like modeling the system including a capacitor. Uh, through this modeling you can like recognize the behavior of charging and discharging of the capacitor. As we know, capacitor function is to store energy in a form of charge, which is equal to capacitance multiplied by the voltage. And here, resistor role is like to regulate the rate of the charging and discharging. Uh, here, this curve is charge versus time capacitor and here is current versus time capac uh, resistor during charging process of the capacitor here tau represent the time the time or constant time which is tau and tau is the time required to charge the capacitor through resistor from zero up to this number of CEC it represent the DC voltage of the source and when the capacitor is charging and you like draw the time against DC source you can find the behavior like this okay to model this RC circuit, we need these components from Semiscape library. So uh, capacitor, resistor, DC source, and sensor to measure voltage and current. And of course, we need solver. As we know, solver is essential, which is contain the parameters related to numerical algorithm of the Semiscape simulation. Each semiscape the diagram must contain a solver configuration block and also reference. Okay, this is our circuits contain of resistor, capacitor, and DC source in series. Let us build this circuit and see the behavior of the capacitor during charge process. Let's go here. Uh, first of all, we need to open a simulink environment to build our project here in the environment, a uh, simulink environment. Let's do something like to attach the picture in order to get the parameter of our circuit. Double click. I have saved the picture in the, yeah, this one. Is it up? Yeah. This is our picture. We want to model this circuit to see the behavior of. Okay. We need to go to the library, and as we know that some escape contain a physical component, foundation library, and electrical. We need electrical elements, we need capacitor, drag it, we need reference for sure, 
and also we need resistor uh, okay let's go to the sensors and bring voltage sensor and current sensor in order to measure current and voltage of the circuit source we need DC voltage source which, which one yeah this one the most important block is silver we can find him it here and utilities which one yeah this is silver configuration block let's connect this component together to form RC circuit here just connect the solver in any wire as we know a meter should be connected in series and voltmeter should be connected in parallel here are, is current sensor and voltage sensor okay flip this component control R to make our circuit more organized to display the result we need to connect this sensor and this sensor is a scope scope the scope is from simulink library so we should convert from physical signal converter to simulink in order to see our results can i no i can put them in one scope double click scope right click configuration properties main two layouts i need them yeah like this apply okay and copy connect to this part expand the scope connect the output now we need to adjust the parameter values here is 50 voltage 50 voltage okay 100 100 ohm you should check the unit because there is a lot of units here in semiscope semiscape twenty micro We can write it like this, or we can just choose micro farad unit. Okay, let us see the result or the output. to see the curve you need just to what's going on yeah to reduce the time let us say two okay yeah as we see you can see the uh, the capacitor reach to 50 after a while and the current reduced so let us like one yeah as you can see here if i zoom 
this curve, you can see that this, this curve reached to 50 after a while, and after that, the, uh, the voltage is constant for a long term of time. This explains how capacitor work when it connects with capacitor and DC voltage in series. To see, uh, let us go back to our slide. This what exactly happened during charge. Okay, the other is discharge. Capacitor discharge. In capacitor discharge, the source of energy is from capacitor. The capacitor produces energy to feed the resistor. And we will find the output voltage versus time like this. And, uh, sorry, here is current versus time and here is a voltage versus time. It is, ag again, is this form or this curve. It is vice versa. Uh, let us see the discharge behavior of the capacitor. Which one here? No. Okay. I'm just going to copy this. Copy. After I copy, I'm going to eliminate or drop the source and put initial value at capacitor here. Capacitor, initial value, 50. A voltage, initial value of voltage in capacitor because the capacitor is already or has already charged. Run. Let's look to the behavior. Yeah. This is a current and this is a voltage discharge after a while. Let's reduce this time to make the curve clear for you. Let's say 0.5. Yeah. Okay. 0.1. And let's put here the name is current and here voltage run yeah here is the current and the voltage okay When you compare these, when you compare these with the slides, you can find them like each other. They are similar. 